Hey guys, um, just a quick notice before the episode. Um, if you could please try and refrain from um, spoiling it for anyone else, um, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, try and wait till everyone else has watched the episode before you talk about it. Cheers. Enjoy. Hey guys, and I hope you enjoyed the intro. Uh, leave a like if you did. That is the Darkbow PK. So that should add a, a nice bit of variety into my PKing now. Um, do bear in mind the fact that that was actually taken only about four days ago before I went on my little holiday, which is awesome by the way, thanks for asking. And um, so you won't get any Darkbow kills in the first half of this episode, but um, at the end I get some nice, nice kills there with the Darkbow. So um, here I was at East Dragons, and I was just sort of bumming around and I ran into these pures, this guy red barred me twice um, I didn't really have enough time to switch to protect melee but I put on protect magic and started running north into the dragons and somehow the three guys didn't really seem the need to follow me uh, the, the uh, ice barrage actually splashed which is kind of lucky but um, I was a bit annoyed because they were gonna they were tagging me so I was like twat wankers and then knocked out but I got away uh, then did some nice bit of skill, chill, cooking, you know, up at Mage Bank with my tuna. Um, 100 XP per tuna. So I've worked out if I want to get 90 cooking in order to cook my dark crabs, I need to catch uh, 55,436 tuna. Um, I actually have about 4k banked just from PKing people at Rogues. So it's doable, it is doable. Um, but here you see me just sort of slowly working my way up there. And let me get 57 there. Um, this is the only place I can really light a fire near the bank. I can't light one in the mage bank, it just doesn't let me. So if you come outside here, um, that's where I will be cooking my tuna. Um, that guy was like, what the fuck are you doing? It kind of creeps people out, like, watching me there. Because it's not like your everyday thing, you don't really see someone in the wilderness fucking cooking fish. But, hey yo, there you go. Um, carry on cooking, and I get my 58. Love it. I'm sort of aiming for 60 at the moment, so that's cool. Um, I then headed down to the Black Chins, and it's quite funny this clip. This guy was like, really? And then he, he's like, I'm, what did he say, hang on? You aren't smart enough to kill me. <laughs> um, so the chase was on now. I wasn't, I wasn't going to let this guy uh, get the better of me. So he started running. 
and I got my legs on me and just started ranging him basically and after about five minutes chase I uh, finally got the kill and I told him that I'm smarter than him I don't think he liked that but um yeah that was a, a funny moment I enjoyed that then all my subscribers in the clan chat were begging for me to come PKing with them and I was like oh fuck it okay so we went on one really short trip because I was lagging like a bitch as you can probably see in this clip um but this guy logged in at the Chaos Ellie, bless him, in pretty nice gear as well, so we had our smites up. And um, this was the only, the first and the last kill we got on the trip. I'm not going to bore you guys with a load of Team PK and clips, because that's not what you're here for. But um, I did get the kill, and when you see the items in my bank, that's how I got them. Another pair of D-boots, combat bracelet, ring of wealth, and a glory, and some diamond bolts. Lovely. And I ran up to the black, chin, uh, black chins, yeah, again. And this guy was AFK, scold with a glory, and the other guy was obviously kind of happy that he was actually being killed now, so he could uh, chin in peace. And yeah, got the kill, glory, five, and five chins, so kind of random. But I can only assume that maybe he tried kicking some like level 20 black chinner or something, I don't know. So then I went to the East Dragons, which is a nice place to come for, for uh, low level pures. And as you see here, a level 68 pure just poked a, uh, a dragon killer to death with his DDS so I saw that he's risking his Kabo and he just looked like he could you know he, I could deal with some damage on this guy so I whacked up my smite and just carry on pursuing him I think he was trying to pick up food off the floor or something off the guy that he just killed um, but imagine PKing two Kabos that would be orgasmic so um, I carried on ranging him and 81 range it hits pretty well now I hit I think 20s and there he goes, an 18, and then a 12 KO. And he died. Good fight. Um, no capo, just uh, glory three and some robes, uh, along with quite a few potions and stand pots. And yeah, generally a nice little kill. Cooked Karen Bwans. Who named that? A Karen Bwan? Like, a Karen Bwan? <sighs> Doesn't even make any sense. So then I went to the Chaos Elder Druids, and I found this guy. Training away, sorry dude, um, I know what it's like getting PK'd there, but uh, you can never tell if he's risking that sort of mitre, you know, so you've got to pursue it. Sometimes they've got items that like protect over him, such as dragon stones and stuff, so it's worth it. Put on my uh, melee bonuses, ran in, boom, 20, 22, 29, and I think we'll repeat that because it was kind of, kind of sexy. 20, 22, 29. Give me your D-Long. No, I'm joking. Um, he had loads of Ranol weeds, which is useful now because I can almost make prayer pots. But well, that's not really true. I've got 21 herb. But um, I'm getting there. And when I do get 38 herb lore, I'm going to camp my prayer pots big time. And I went up to the Rose Castle and ran into this level 19. Um, he tried glitching out and tried hopping, but I got the KO too quickly. And I didn't really have the right PK gear to try and take the other guys on. So I just uh, settled with my first PK and logged out I believe um, I was actually geared for killing imps or something in a uh, god wars dungeon uh, and now look who I see um, look at it, oh there's spark mac let's go follow him so I actually followed him, um, I'm actually on his ignore list because at the very beginning of my series I was spamming on one of his streams my CC and he just ignored me so um, if you ever listen to this spark mac or if anyone knows spark mac tell him to un Unignore me. I'd like to have a little chat with him. Um, he seems pretty cool. So then I went to the West Dragons, which is like one of my preferred spots at the moment. Um, it's quite low. It's only level like 11 to 13 in the wildy. So I do find the odd level 70. And um, here you go, level 69 here. Went in for the G Mall. He uh, tanked it. Dragon got involved. Not very happy with that, about that. But um, unfortunately, this guy, he hasn't really been killed before or something. So he, he didn't really know where to go. He tried running south. Um, if I was him I would have just kept the dragons and hoped to um, for them to get involved uh, just notice what he does there, he takes off his glory um, I got the kill and I did add him, I told him to join my CC and he did eventually, you see here in a minute when I, I pick up the, uh, the full helm and then a glory appears and in the CC he's like what is this nerd shit about um, so he didn't actually stay in the CC which is his own doing because he came back in a different world and I found him again and um, normally when I find someone again, I'm pretty determined to uh, kill them again, especially if they haven't listened. Um, if he was in my CC, I'd be off him, but he wasn't, so I didn't really feel guilty. And um, we had a little scrap here. Shit, G-Mall spec again. 
but um, can't complain. Sort of like dummy ran then, so he'd think that, think that I was out, and he started attacking me. Probably could have got killed then if he didn't eat and hit an 18, but he didn't. And um, you see here he starts stripping himself down again. He's been through the drill before now. Uh, just trying to avoid this scorpion as well because that could be so annoying if it PJ'd. So you have to keep away from those little bastards. Um, but yeah, kept the smite up and kept killing. And then I got 82 range. Happy fucking days. It's quite funny getting a, a skill then. Um, again, looks like nothing on the floor. But then you wait around and... Oh look, a glory. Another glory. And a rune full ham. So yeah, sweet. Next time, get in my clan chat, boy. Uh, this is actually a different guy, he looked kind of similar, but he was like, I have nothing. Um, but then I kind of worked it out and he said, I said, uh, now you've got a glory and a skim if I kill you. So uh, bless him, he started walking east, didn't even feel the need to run. Um, I do feel a bit bad coming here and killing guys, killing dragons, but you know, it's the wilderness, he jumped the ditch. Um, so he died, and like I said to him, I got his scimitar, and I got his amulet of glory. Another glory. I should have done like a glory count for this uh, episode because I get so many. But, um, yeah, and he had salmon, but didn't even bother eating them. Uh, same again, some guy at west with the rune armor on and a zerk at home. Oh, sorry, this is east, my bad. Um, spin him out. I'm still a bit hungover from the uh, the New Year celebrations. Hope everyone had a good uh, good New Year and Christmas and all the presents that come with it. Um, I don't know what you guys wished for. I personally wished for five years of RuneScape membership. Um, I didn't actually get it. So that was that was sad. Um, I actually got bread and butter and a bit of water. Um, but Tommy, I asked Tommy in the clan chat what you got for Christmas, and he said that you got a good spanking. So I'm um, good man. <laughs> anyway, back to the uh, the fighting here at Easts. And as you see, it's a bit slow, but I got in there, pulled out my Gmall, my lovely Gmall clamp, and got the kill. And on the floor, Berserker Ham. But we don't want to pick that up. Um, so I dropped my vial, and I picked up the green dragon hide instead. All right, sweet. Jokes. All right, got the got the berserker helmet and got the fuck out of there. Um, I missed doing a bit of chaos Ellie, so I came back to the chaos Ellie and um, got I think four kills. Uh, nothing very good. Anchovy pizzas, 500 air runes, and then another 500 air runes. Love it. They do add up though, so you can't complain. Um, and then some more strange fruit, and then the final kill. Guess what I got? more strange fruit so yeah that was a bit of an hour hour wasted then i came back to west drags and i found this guy who was trying to kill matey there with a the dfs maybe or something anyway he was scold um with an armadillo crossbow which is actually currently 22 million gp so i went in with the g mall got the kill and looking back on it in hindsight that was dumb as fuck um, i did get a glory but um i really should have just waited for his his prayer to drop i mean he did have six doses so he may have been okay but um, in those situations of panic, you always you always try and get the uh, KO in early, which is a bit stupid. And hopefully, I'll learn from that. Um, then I went down to Edgeville with my new dark bow. Love it. Um, I've got to admit, I'm a bit rusty. I've never been a dark bow PK or rusher, so I've never used one really. So it's all a bit of a new one. Um, and my plan was just to get the TB in, entangle in, and then stick to the dark bow, which is very slow. Um, most people probably would use it for a spec weapon and then switch back to the magic short bow but um, I was just having a bit of fun with it and the entangle actually got me the kill which is kind of funny uh, got another glory Woo! glory glory oh got some rune boots as well and a rune axe never going to say no to another rune axe um, then back up the up at the fountain of rune and I come across this guy who had been venged I'm not quite sure why he was venged I guess it was his like main account that he did it on but um, if he's not going to fight back, I don't think he was expecting that Venge to get the KO. Um, but he gave up, or he's AFK, or something, and I got the kill. And people come here to uh, to alk their junk items, such as unstrung bows. And here you go, 2k willow longbows, I think. Um, happy days. Chuck it in the looting bag and move on. So I came to the Rune Rocks, which is level 45. Um, you get quite a lot of bots here. This guy wasn't actually a bot, or if he was, he was very sophisticated. But um, eventually, after a bit of bit of a hassle, I eventually got the kill and got some nice rune ore. Rune ore does out for 1.9k each, I believe, and I've got about 200 in my bank now, so it's pretty pretty profit worthy. I don't know, 380k or so, um, just from PKing a few guys at rune ore. 
Um, then I went to the the Ents area. This guy was obviously killing the black unicorns for their horns, as I do sometimes as well. Um, pulled out the dark bow. He told me to fuck off. Got the spec in, um, just, and he ran off the map. But as I followed him, there he was on the floor. Little, little dead man. Um, it's quite cool, actually. He's an Iron Man. If you look in the chat at the bottom, he's an Iron Man. And he had, like, obby cape and stuff. Um, so hopefully he's going to have to go back to Fire Giants now for being rude and get another rune skin. And rune square shield. I don't quite know where he got that from. Is that from the... Um, the trolls or something, the troll generals, I don't know, um, maybe that's Addy, I don't know. Um, then I went to the rogue's castle, and I ran to this guy, and this was actually a really fun fight, probably my favourite one so far. Um, he had smite as well, I had smite, he had quite a few uh, levels on me, and I was just trying out my new dark bow, and hoping to find some guys killing, I mean stealing from the chests, but in fact I found this guy, um, pulled out the dark bow spec to start with, and got a nice big hit there, 20, 28, 24 was that, um, and I was thinking, man, this guy must be low, and then I switched to my magic short bow, and realised that you need 50% spec and not 40, I don't know what I was thinking, um, I kind of imagined it was an armadillo crossbow, uh, he started DDS specking me, now, because he didn't protect when I specced him, I wasn't going to protect melee, um, I was going to be honourable and fight back, and he sort of tried ramboing me a couple of times, got a 22, running out of prayer, man, out of food now, look at my HP, 17 HP. I think because I started running, he actually thought that I was trying to escape and that's why he tried blitzing me then. If he stuck to his whip, he probably would have got the kill. Hit 11, 7 HP, and I hit the 27 with the, uh, the lucky KO. Um, so very happy with that. Unfortunately, I didn't get the whip, which would have been awesome, getting a dark burner whip in the same episode, but um, I didn't. And yeah, got some diamond e bolts and some a rune crossbow and some arrows and stuff. So uh, pretty chuffed with that. Um, and then I went back up and carried on with my cooking because I'm a chef now motherfuckers and I got 59 cooking um, which is irrelevant you can't uh, I can make a slayer's respite that's cool I really need one of them then 60 cooking almost just as bad I can make curries now which I can't because I'm in the wildy um, but then I got a genie lamp and that means I'm one lamp now off level 2 it's taken a while this one um, I've been quite unlucky with the genies recently but, um, oh sorry, I'm two, I need fucking, I need two more lamps. But anyway, there's 61 cooking. And then I did a bit of mining. Um, I actually noted the iron ore, but then I ran out of money and just started power mining it and dropping it. But I'm um, nearly level 48 now, which is cool. Then I went down to the Ents, which if you don't know, these guys drop, uh, well, they, they basically die and leave a tree trunk on the floor, which you chop with your axe. And they're pretty easy to kill. You can safe spot them in quite a few different places. Um, and using my dark bow to get the, uh, the nice big hits on them. But yeah, you see them there in my inventory, they drop noted logs. Uh, it's it's okay, it's kind of fun, it's slightly different from going into the wilderness resource area. Um, you get U logs, and yeah. Um, so that's about it for this episode, I'm afraid, boys and girls. Um, but if you've enjoyed it, and if you've liked the stuff I PK'd, all those glories and that lovely juicy dark bow, um, please leave a like. And that will motivate me to make more videos and hopefully more frequently. Um, I have had this 10 day little time off um, and it's been awesome. But I'm ready to go again. So yeah, leave a like. Uh, leave any comments if you've got any questions. Clan chat is world dependent. And our forums is ourworldy.com if you want to come and chill on there. Uh, we've also got TeamSpeak. Um, that's, that's linked on the forums as well.